So this is a toy radio control blimp gondola and uh, I've taken the radio control parts out but these are the standard parts. This is the right here, this is the vertical thruster keeps goes up and down and these things right here are differential thrusters to steer it right or left. Now where the radio control parts are were, that's where we're going to put the blimp controller board. This is a autonomous um, uh, embedded processor board that allowed to fly entirely on its own. And to get more vertical authority to be able to maintain our altitude better, what I've done is I've taken this static beam right here, which was, which was glued and screwed onto the blimp um, body, and turned it into a moving one, which uh, is now a vectoring thruster. So I'll show you. This is the radio control transmitter. This is just a radio control servo. And these are Lego parts, two gears and some Lego bars, and now it vectors, which is to say that both motors turn up or down, as well as in differing directions, so you get left or right authority, and now these two props can do the power of three much more effectively, allowing us to possibly get rid of this horizontal thruster, save a little weight, and have much more maneuverability. And that is the basis of an autonomous robotic blimp.